Hello lovely subscribers, I've got quite a few new ones so I thought I'd just say hello to you and thank you so much for all the lovely messages I've got over the last few weeks. I'm like so surprised every time someone sends me one, they're so sweet so thank you so so much. Um, yeah, so it's Friday night and I'm feeling quite motivated so I thought I'd make you <laughs> a new video. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just going to be about uh, French again just because that's what I'm really into at the moment. I've been super super motivated, I've been doing like three to five hours every single day for like the last month so I feel like my French has improved a lot. Um, I'm probably not going to speak any French on YouTube again because it's quite embarrassing but maybe in another month I'll do another one just so you can compare to my first video that I did. Um, yeah, so yeah. Also I want to say that if you are, uh, a couple of people have messaged me about being like lonely and bored and things like that and um, I really recommend um, learning a language because um, I went on a website, I can't remember exactly which one but there are a few and um, I did a language exchange so basically um, you get to like Skype or message someone that wants to learn English but isn't that great and they can teach you a bit of French or whatever language you want to learn in return and it is so funny right <laughs> oh my goodness it's really really funny I've had um, so many like misunderstandings and things when you like mispronounce words and really funny for example in French I can't say the word neck and I'm not going to do it for you now and instead I say the word bum uh, or ass if you want to be like super American and uh, it's just really really funny so I really recommend doing that if you've got like quite a bit of time on your hands and you just want to chat to someone and you get something out of it and maybe a new friend and also shh, it's kind of made me want to go and spend the summer in France so maybe that's in the pipelines I don't know I feel like I kind of need a big change so yeah um, so anyway this video is just going to be I'm going to show you some um, apps I've liked some websites um, I'm going to recommend to you again some, maybe some language exchange websites and or I'm going to show you my books again and what I kind of like and what I don't like so much so maybe that'll be useful to you. Thank you again for watching. Bisous! Uh, I thought I'd also recommend you some apps. This is one of my favourite ones at the moment. This is Duolingo which has been quite popular in like the app store and the language learning community. It's actually really good. I would say that you probably need some like extreme basics before you begin this but it's really good it does teach you um, sorry if I get too close it goes really out of focus uh, it teaches you like basics phrases food animals adjectives possessive possessives plurals etre avoir clothing colors questions verbs that kind of thing prepositions pronouns family just all kinds of like grammar and vocabulary and it does it in like quite a fun way let's just click on one I'm sorry if this is like super out of focus but like okay uh, let's do animals so it says so you could I've already completed this so it just wants me to go over my weakest words again but you can go back and repeat lessons and things and it teaches you let's go on that one so like select the dog, le chien, I think if I have the volume on it actually it says it as well, let's see, you are correct, Il a une et un chat. so it like reads it to you and then you have to um, select the word, so il a une chat, une chat et une chat, I think it's that again, il a une chat et un chat, Un chat et un chat. So um, that's he has a f female cat and a male cat. You are correct. And it does different types of ones where you fill in the blanks. I don't know why. It's just teaching me some animals to begin with. And then it just goes on through this, and you can like. Le canard teaches you words and things Oops. Le cheval noir right. mange une pomme. now you have to translate it into English so it says type in English it has other ones where it writes the phrase in English and you have to translate it into French so it's really good and also oh, I can't get too close but if you click on the words at the beginning okay this, oh yeah there we go like if I click on mange it gives you a little definition and and things give you a little mini explanation so it's really really good and it tells you like 
if you are almost right and things like that so I really really like that and also because it reads it out loud over and over and over again so you get really like familiar with some of the words and pronunciation and things like that so that one's really and good. And this is my next favourite app which is called Memorise, sorry I've got my thumb over my name but yeah basically it teaches you vocabulary and if I can somehow look away <laughs> open up basic French then it goes through, there's loads of different ones that you can teach you all these different words. It's really, really good for vocabulary. I really recommend Memorise that you try it out. I'll just show you quickly the basics. It's got loads of different stuff you can do. It teaches you all kinds of things. You don't have to just do language. It does like business and maths and countries of the world and all kind of random stuff like that. And then obviously when you first start, it shows you the word in... French and English and it says how you say it and then you get to type it so hi would be salut 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 and then it says it for you when you get it right and how would be like comment 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 <laughs> like that so you just go through there's absolutely tons I completed the um, whole of this learn basic French and it's been so so helpful when I've been like trying to read articles and things just general conversation things it gets a little bit complicated towards the end like it teaches you verbs and thoughts and feelings blah 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 really really good so check out memorize okay now i'm going to show you some of my books and tell you like what i like and don't like about them because my opinion has changed on some of these books for sure so to start off with um these are the um per practice makes perfect is that what they're called? The McGraw-Hill books, they do loads of them. This is the French grammar drills and the French verb drills and I thought I would absolutely hate these books. I mean when I first got them I just looked at it and was like blah, it's pretty hardcore, blah blah blah. But it turns out, sorry my colour is terrible, there we go. It turns out I actually love these books and as a sort of more advanced beginner they've been so so useful. Like they explain things to me so well like in a really clear way and they give you like loads of exercises so you can practice and things you can see like I get them wrong and things but it explains it to you really well and it's got the answers in the back so it's, if you want to teach yourself I would say these are really effective books for practicing once you've sort of got a, some kind of idea of the concept of the different like grammar or verb rules and things um, I use these, I also watch um, YouTube videos which are really really good for um, grammar and verbs and I think I'll probably link the two that I use the most in um, in the description bar. One's called FrenchSpanishOnline.com and the other one's called Imaginaires. He's like the really popular one on YouTube. He's got like loads and loads of videos with like units that teach you all the grammar and stuff which sounds boring but if you're really like yeah French is amazingly cool like I am at the moment then you'll enjoy those and then you can test yourself with some like quizzes and stuff but this does explain it as well but sometimes it just helps to have like a human voice saying to you <laughs> this is this because of this kind of thing and then here's another book which I thought was a bit pointless to buy at the time when I bought it which is a um phrase book but actually when you're learning on your own you often you don't really know how to pronounce a lot of the words so I know it's a bit lame or whatever I don't know if that's going to focus or not but um, it gives you like the English, the French and then this sort of weird it's like um, syllable type things like it's I don't know that's not a very good page for an example but okay like question words it's like who key and it tells you it says key and then kie and keska, things like that. So like keska, rather than this phrase, as you see. So if you're a beginner, that's like really useful for helping you start out. And books I really didn't like were these like, I would say, where's the other one? This Teach Yourself Beginner's French. I absolutely hated this. This is quite an old edition. I'm going to say... 1992 edition. I hate it, it's just too basic and I'm like, but why, but why all the time? I'm like, prefer moral explanations. If I'm going to use a textbook, I want it to tell me why and things like that. So I just, I really didn't get on with that and it's a bit too basic for me. It's sort of like, I don't know, GCSE type language type thing and the same with this one. It's just not how I like it. I just 
want it to explain it to me properly and I don't feel that those sort of introductory textbooks do that that well sometimes. Another book I've been really liking is good old Harry Potter again. Um, I've actually, I've, I still find it quite difficult to read it, like just going blah 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 blah. But um, if I use the audio CD and just slow it down to about 80%, I can actually read along with the whole thing and that just makes me feel so happy that I'm like listening along and I can like read and I comprehend most of it now so that makes me like extremely happy. I would say I went from understanding about 3% to probably now about 50% which is like way way more, way way more. So that was really good. And um, what else? Oh. Here's my little school dictionary I had from when I tried to learn it at year 9 level or something like that. Um, I do like this dictionary and I don't like this dictionary. It doesn't really give you that many example sentences. Okay, I realise it's not going to focus. But it's useful for like looking up like reflexive verbs and stuff. Um, just general finding out about each word in a really basic way is like, just quite interesting. Um, here are some other books as well that I forgot to show you that I had last time I did a video. This is Skellig by David R. Almond in, uh, that's in French. And Cavadier dans la bibliothèque. Agatha Christie, that one is actually the easiest one I've got, I think, to read. So if you're looking for a good beginner book, I've heard lots of good things about the Agatha Christie book. So you can see it's quite quite big font and because it's translated from English they use the words that are more similar to the English words if that makes any sense so it makes it easier to like follow along I'm not sure if that's true or not but I feel like it is and then I don't really know why I've got this book it's probably rubbish it's really thin I haven't read it yet and then I've got uh, this one I have no idea why I bought this either probably rubbish really thin cheap book and then I've got this one which is like, I was like, I want a kid's book that's not too difficult. So it's got like nice illustrations in it and then a little story that wouldn't be too difficult if I wanted to try and like translate it myself and things like that. So yeah, I'm really pleased with my progress so far. I feel like I've like come along leaps and bounds in the last month, like so bad. But I have been practicing for about four or five hours a day just of like listening or reading or working through my textbook which sounds like a lot but when you start learning a language you can I don't know it gets really really interesting so I'm sure you know if you've ever studied a language that it's not boring and horrible like everyone says you're like wow especially if you have Skype and you do language exchange which I do um, Sorry, which I do like almost every day I talk to one, one of, I've got a couple of French friends and I talk to them every single day and it's so encouraging they're like yeah your accent sounds so good and I teach them a bit of English and they teach me French and it's really really nice it's so super super encouraging to have somebody that's French talk to you and they can teach you new words and they can say where well, you're going wrong they say no no you're pronouncing it totally wrong and yeah it's just been a really positive experience for me and I definitely definitely recommend it Okay, so by the way, I forgot to tell you that Duolingo and also Memrise, you can just look, go on the internet and have a look at them. Um, but you don't have to have an iPad or anything like that, you can just use them on any old internet browser. So that's really cool. Um, oh yeah, here's the um, website I used for, converse, for um, language exchange. This one's just conversationexchange.com. It's not really that advanced or special. You just message someone and say, hey, here's my Skype, do you want to talk kind of thing. Um, there's probably better ones out there to be honest. If you just Google, you'll probably find one. Um, the next website that I have to recommend to you is um, Radio France International or RFI. Um, and if you click on, oh, this is on it already. Um, but basically, it has the news in easy French, so you can um, listen along and you can also read along, which is really helpful for like practicing reading and listening and blah 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 it's really good and then you learn a bit about world news as well while you're doing it and yeah if you're just starting out then it it will sound like blah 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 but trust me if you listen if you do it every day soon you'll be like oh they're talking about this and then that and because with the news news doesn't really um change that much i mean they talk about the same topics all the time like the ukraine and syria and 
murders and horrible things like that but you know you get familiar with the with the vocabulary is the word yes you get familiar with the vocabulary so that's really good and you can listen along to authentic french news in easy french so you can learn along which i think that's pretty cool and then about.com is really good for um sorry i'm not really good at holding a camera is really good for like learning about the grammar and the basics and it gives you links for like news, radio, TV, media, etc. Practice, blah blah blah, translation tools. Really, really good if you don't want to buy a textbook or anything like that. I'd say that's probably equally as good as my um, French verb books or whatever. So yeah, really recommend that. That's french.about.com and then what else? Oh yeah, my YouTubers that I like. This is um, Imaginaires, or I'm not sure how you pronounce it in French because I'm rubbish. But anyway, it's um, Learn French with Vincent. I'll put a link below. It's really good. He's got like a bajillion videos that aren't, some most of them are not that useful. But if you go on his like homepage bit, he's got like different units and stuff, which are like super, super good. So I really recommend that part of his channel. I don't know why he's got so many other random videos that are a bit rubbish, but anyway, those are really good. I've watched quite a lot of those, and um, they've really helped when the textbook just hasn't really made that much sense to me. When you hear someone talking about it and going through examples, then it all sort of starts to click. And same goes for this guy, he's called Pascal, and this is French Spanish Online, and I really like Pascal. He's got like a really clear voice, and he explains things like in a precise but understandable way so it's the same kind of thing as the last guy it's like grammar and tenses and if you're like interested it's, re it's really really good so those are the, my main um, websites that I like at the moment and obviously um, good old Skype down here and also Spotify I use to listen to French music at the moment I don't really know I need more recommendations of French music. So if you have French music that you like, write in me, write to me in a comment, and I will listen to it for sure because I'm on the lookout for some French music that I like. Okay. I also use my little beat up iPod all the time. It's got like my Asimil lessons on it, and um, just random French music. Or sometimes I download the audio from. Um, the YouTube lessons to re-listen to it again while I'm driving because I have to drive to work and take my sister to work and things or if I'm walking around doing exercise <laughs> then I listen to that and um, yeah that's really helpful just to go over it again and again and again and then everything just starts to click a little bit more into place every time which makes me really really happy and yeah 